minutes remaining. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tom aka The Butcher and today I want to talk to you about Ruiner. Uh, this is an indie title from a newly formed studio called Raycon Games. They're from uh, Warsaw in Poland and um, they consist from former members of uh, CD Projekt Red. So what is Ruiner? Ruiner is an indie title, it's not a full price title, it's a budget price title, uh, it's set in 2091. It's uh, set in a city uh, which is, uh, you know, futuristic uh, neon so uh, neon soaked uh, cyberpunk uh, dystopia, and the city is called Raincock. You play uh, with an unnamed protagonist uh, who wears a mask. You know, uh, it kind of sounds familiar. It sounds a little bit like uh, Hotline Miami, and I have no doubt that uh, Hotline Miami was an inspiration. So there's a shady organization called uh, Heaven and they've kidnapped your brother. Uh, there is a mysterious uh, woman, mysterious hacker helping you and funnily enough and it's really funny uh, she constantly calls you puppy and that's <laughs> it's funny you, you'll see when you play it. Um, and basically that's it about the story. Um, the game has cutscenes none of them are voiced uh, mostly text Keep in mind that this is a budget title, this is an indie title, it's not a AAA game, but it certainly has, you know, AAA quality to itself. So yeah, that's it about the story. Uh, I think the story is actually pretty good. You'll see the ending has a pretty... it has a great uh, twist. <clears throat> Let's talk about the gameplay. So basically Ruiner is a twin stick top down uh, hardcore shooter. Uh, really the combat in this game is fucking brutal it's really really brutal uh, there's blood everywhere there you know shotgun blasting enemies is really fun you know uh, you have weapons of course you have standard weapons you know machine guns uh, assault rifles uh, cannons and shit and you also have melee weapons and uh, the weapons are okay they have a nice, nice uh, punch to them when you, when you kill an enemy uh, the main attraction of Ruiner is, uh, uh, in combination with the fast-paced combat, uh, powers. There are powers in the game, uh, I don't know, I'll just name a few, like a stun grenade, uh, you can hack people, there's slow motion, there's a shield, a dash, and etc. A lot more. Basically, you upgrade your powers uh, with uh, karma points, uh, which you gather from, I don't know, either boxes or just regularly finishing uh, levels and having a great rank uh, after each fight. So I forgot to say, after each fight uh, you're ranked, uh, so the better your score, your rank is, the more karma points you're gonna get. Uh, what I like about this is that Ruiner gives you the ability to respect your powers on the go. So. I don't know, uh, and you, you're gonna have to do that for boss battles, uh, because boss battles uh, often require a specific, you know, power. So, I don't know, for one boss you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna upgrade uh, shield, and for other boss you, you need, I don't know, you need maybe a stun grenade. So, but you won't have enough points for that stun grenade, so you're gonna have to take out some points from, uh, you're gonna have to take out some points from shield and uh, invest it into stun grenades and like that but it's really interesting you can uh, respecting on the fly and uh, it's not just an option uh, for bosses it's actually uh, you'd need to do it uh, the bosses uh, really certain bosses just really require a, a certain amount of uh, they require one power in specific you need to exploit uh, their weakness and you exploit that weakness by you know abusing some power uh, speaking of boss battles, there are boss battles of course in Ruiner and they're fucking great, they're gonna test your skill, uh, especially the last boss. Uh, the last boss isn't exactly a boss, it's it's an arena, I'll just say that, and it's, it's really a place to test your skills. But 
uh, other bosses also like I said they require you to abuse some power you know in order to exploit their weakness but uh, bosses themselves are pretty hard and uh, but they're fun and interesting and they'll definitely uh, test your test out your skills uh, the controls are fluid really I have nothing to complain here um, the, your main ability you're gonna use is dash pretty much uh, all powers are equal but some of them are more equal than others and uh, one of those powers is dash you really need dash like I said controls nothing to complain about here uh, there are regular checkpoints in the game and that's oh, that's actually pretty great because the game is it's not too hard but it is a hard game at least for me on uh, normal the only minus I would have to give Ruiner is uh, there isn't much to do in the game besides combat there aren't any puzzles of sorts there are you know weapon lockers which you need to input a certain combination to open but that's pretty fucking easy like I said the only minus is there's there's really not much to do in Ruiner uh, besides combat the length I would say Ruiner is gonna take you around five to seven hours it took me around uh, six hours or normal and you can get uh, more depending on how much you suck for the main story if you suck a lot probably it's gonna take you around 10 hours uh, so yeah so let's talk about graphics uh, the graphics uh, in Ruiner are pretty fucking great uh, Ruiner uses Unreal Engine 4 uh, there really isn't uh, anything to complain about Unreal Engine 4 it looks beautiful um, it's not a triple-A quality you know it's a top-down twin stick shooter but uh, for what it is it really looks uh, good it really looks beautiful um, I think the game is I can't confirm that because I have no means of testing it but judging from my uh, you know experience with the game I would say that the game is uh, 60 frames per second I haven't noticed any slowdown of sorts and it just feels fluid so I think it's 60 frames per second uh, the only minus about the graphics is that some sometimes you know it's hard to see the your uh, the path you're supposed to go you know uh, the you know ruiner likes to use a lot of red you know basically it's a neon soaked you know game and uh, and they like to use uh, they like to use shading on top of that red color so sometimes it's uh, it's a bit difficult to see where you're going but other than that nothing to complain and i really wish uh, more developers would use unreal engine 4 you know it's just such a scalable engine you know you can have the prettiest shit available like i don't know hellblade that game looks fucking amazing and you can have something like ruiner which also looks uh, great but it's just not that graphically intensive but uh, that's the beauty of Unreal Engine 4 its scalability and that's pretty much it would I recommend Ruiner to you absolutely. fucking lutely it's a brilliant game you know pure action the powers are great you know upgrades are fun uh, the, the combat is brutal it, it's just brutal and it's pure action you know uh, the story itself it's okay it's serviceable it's it does it's it does its uh, duty and the game is pretty cryptic you know that there's like you know at the start of a mission your only objective is kill boss that that's fucking it uh, but you do get uh, an explanation who the, the shady organization uh, heaven is and at the end of the game you even find out why they kidnapped your brother etc but yeah the story is okay it's not a, the best story in the world but it's okay but uh, Ruiner isn't about story, it's about gameplay, it's about brutal, fast-paced gameplay. And uh, I just have to mention one thing, I watched an IGN review of Ruiner, and I don't know, I think they give it around 6, they're fucking idiots. Uh, they complained about Ruiner being too, too hard, and that's just not true. Uh, Ruiner is a hard game if you're a retard who works at IGN. I mean, it's a hard game, but it's not something that's gonna break your fucking balls every time you play it that's gonna crush your soul nah nothing like that it is hard but it's definitely if you're not a retard who works at IGN it's you can definitely beat it and enjoy the game I highly recommend that you play uh, Ruiner like I said it's a good not not good it's a great fucking game and uh, yeah we need uh, I hope you you play it and uh, support Rikon games they're a newly formed studio and this is their first game 
and uh, yeah, if they're gonna produce more games like this, I wish, I wish them all all the happiness in the world. They're they're a great studio, and that's about it. If I had to give a score to Ruiner, I would give it 9.7 out of 10.